In reference to um, talking about government's role in a free society, you mentioned some of the market failures, and I think that you may have just passed over one that is of utmost importance, and that is of poverty. And in prefacing my question, I'd like to refer to what President Kennedy said, that if a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are, who are rich. And to say that, well, we are a government of the people, and when there is a large sector of the people who are hurting, perhaps it is the responsibility of the, this government, of the people, to help out. Well, first my, of question all, is, yeah. my question is, is regarding how free are the poor, how free are the unemployed, and how free are those people who are disadvantaged? Right. And so in reference to that, right. what is government's role? Sure. First of all... I'm glad to see one vote for the poor. First of all, the government doesn't have any responsibility. People have responsibility. This building doesn't have responsibility. You and I have responsibility. People have responsibility. Second, the question is, how can we as people exercise our responsibility toward our fellow man most effectively? That's the problem. So far as poverty is concerned, there has never in history been a more effective machine for eliminating poverty than the free enterprise system and the free market. The period in... The period in which you had the greatest improvement in the lot of the ordinary man was a period of the 19th and early 20th century. Those of us in this room are the heirs of that. We benefited from the way in which our parents and our grandparents were able to come here. And by virtue of the freedom that was offered to them, were able to make a better life for themselves and our, uh, them and us. But next, if you look at the real problems of poverty and denial of freedom to people in this country, almost every single one of them is a result of government action and would be eliminated if you eliminated the bad government failures. Let me be precise and specific. Why do we have so high an unemployment rate among black teenagers? It's a disgrace and a scandal. Why do we have so high an unemployment rate? First of all, because we give them lousy schooling through governmental schools, which make them unqualified to hold decent jobs. And second of all, we require employers to discriminate against them by not hiring them unless, they have, uh, unless their productivity is enough to justify a minimum wage. The minimum wage rate is the most anti-Negro law in the books. And it's an anti-Negro law because it precisely, having first not, not enabled the young blacks to have a decent schooling so that they can, they can have productivity, we next deny them the on-the-job training that they might get if you could induce employers by, a low, by being able to hire them for relatively low wages to give them on-the-job training that would make them qualify for higher payment and higher productivity. In the third place, we have constructed a governmental welfare scheme which has been a machine for producing poor people. We have induced people to come under control of welfare. We, I'm not blaming the people. Don't misunderstand me. It's our fault for constructing so perverse and so ill-shaped a monster as the whole set of welfare programs we have under which we encourage people, uh, families to break up, we encourage people to move from one part of the country and come to another, under which we have, in effect, made many people poor. And yet, when all this is said and done, have I ever been where? Welfare, or poor, I have, sir, of course. Of course, more so than most of the people in this room. <laughs> How many of you have worked a 12-hour day and gotten paid 78 cents? <laughs> but let me go back to the... Because, but you know, that's all, all irrelevant. Is there one of you who is going to say that you don't want a doctor to treat you for cancer unless he himself has had cancer? Yes. 